Hello, today we are going to create this uh, modular landscape scene created with geometry nodes. And we have uh, full control about the crown size, the water level on off. We have con we can control the grass density, the size of the rocks, uh, the size of the water rocks. And the most important thing, the vegetation reacts uh, dynamic to the level of the water. So as we increase the set position of the water, the vegetation above the water will automatically adapt to the position. So let's jump into it. Hello everyone. Today we are going to create that modular geometry nodes asset and therefore we are going to delete the light, uh, but we will uh, leave the default cube because that will be our geometry nodes container. So we jump into the geometry nodes panel and click on the cube and create a new geometry nodes setup. There we have the geometry nodes input and the output. We separate them and delete the group input because we don't need that. We will generate our grid dynamically. So first of all, we generate our grid. We will need a position node. We will need a set position node. We will need a combine x, y, z node and a noise texture node. And to control the, the randomness of our landscape, we will need some RGB curves node. So first of all, we are going to plug the mesh into the geometry and the geometry into the output and there we have it, our grid. Later on we will need some join geometry node there and now the position node will give us the position of each point of our plane. Therefore we'll increase our mesh the division let's say five to five meters and resolution of about let's say 500. Now we oh I forgot a vector math node vector math node and we will set that to add we will leave it as it appears and now we put our position into the vector add in the, up, in the upper vector and the combine x, x, y, z in the lower vector. And that one we will give into, we will plug in in the position node. To control our noise, we will put the factor into the color and the color we will put into the set value of our combined x, y, z. That will give us control about only the z position of all the points. And the position node controls every point and the random RGB curves set all the points to a random value. Now, um, it took me some time to figure out the best values uh, for the noise texture so that it looks like a real landscape. Uh, first of all, we have to set it to 4D. Maybe we want to animate it. So the scale works best at 10, the detail at 16, the roughness about 1.5 and the distortion about 2. Sorry, the scale was 0 0.1. There we have it. It already looks like a 
smooth flat landscape and now we can we have two controls we have the control uh, from in the rgb curves to generate some random landscape and we also have the control in the factor the factor is some kind of uh, let's say height control if i put here three you see some smooth cool random valley and uh, the important thing is uh, that we always uh, uh, that we always um, design in a real world parameters so that could be already some uh, some smooth landscape also it, it looks like a big mountain maybe we will set the detail a little bit lower maybe to 10 no sorry that was the roughness that looks a little bit more like a landscapes so put that back to two that and the distortion controls also the, the randomness of our landscape let's find some cool parameters that we can work with maybe we take that one And that would be the first part. Uh, that's our landscape. You can see you see the polygon still there. Uh, to avoid that, you can plug in a set to smooth node, and there we have it a smooth landscape. To get things organized, we add a frame. Move all the nodes into the frame and we will name that frame ground. Now, the next step will be our water. The water has to be the same size as our crit, therefore we just copy no. crit, we give them the same parameters, 5,5 five, and the vertices don't matter, 10. And we will plug the water grid into the joint geometry, and there we have it, our water plane. To control the position, we also need a set position node. We will add an XYZ node to control the set level of our water plane and we add a value and the value we will plug into the set input and now we have the control about the set position of our water. Great. So the problem is um, that all the geometry nodes happen in, uh, inside that uh, cube, so we can't just put any material on the cube and uh, hope that the material will be on the water or on the ground. So we have to set the material inside the geometry nodes. Therefore, we have a Z material node. We can Put that right behind the position and one right behind the position of nope should be inside yes and therefore we can now later on control the material 
of the ground and our water. Um, one thing that we need to do is to get full control of our water, we will add a switch node. We will plug into true. So we have the decision whether we want to have water or not. And to get things better organized, we will just combine the, the x and the y size of our grid and our water. Therefore, we will have a value for the x size and a value of the x size here. Let's get to 10, no, plus 5. And we will do the same for the y position. Y and Y. And now we can change with only one one value the size of our water and our ground control. For better visualization, uh, we will add some new materials. Uh, we will just jump into the shader and create a new ground material to get to leave things simple we'll just add some basic material ground and some new material water we'll make that blue viewport and now we can choose between the materials uh, let's say that was water and that was our ground and we can modify our materials later on so as we move into our viewport we can see we have a beautiful 3d landscape with modular water level that was the first part of my tutorial um, in the next part we will set all the vegetation and um, the important uh, step that we will set the control uh, that no vegetation should grow underneath the water. Mm -hmm.